Top 10 Craziest Animals Facts The animals' kingdom are full of unknown mystery, knowledge, and can bring a lot of excitement for us to explore. Here's our list of the 10 craziest animal facts. This includes some of the most asked, fun, surprising and crazy animal facts from across the animal kingdom. Number 10. Flamingos are not pink. Flamingos are long-legged wading birds often covered with bright pink plumage. With its name derived from Spanish or Portuguese meaning color of fire, this bird is known for its dazzling appearance. The pink color of their feathers, although that is their most famous quality, is not a genetic trait. Flamingos are born in grayscale effect. So, if it's not part of their DNA, why are these birds pink? For flamingos, the phrase you are what you eat is more correct than for humans. The flamingo's vibrant pink color comes from beta-carotene, an orange-red pigment abundant in algae, brine fly larvae, and brine shrimp that flamingos eat in their wetland habitat. In the digestive system, enzymes break down carotenes into pigments that are absorbed by fat in the liver and deposited, for flamingos, in feathers and skin. To really color these external properties, carotenoids must be absorbed in very large quantities. Since the flamingo's diet consists almost exclusively of carotene-rich delicacies, these birds have no problem with coloration. On the other hand, humans would need to eat a lot of carrots, a food so rich in carotenoids that it gave the pigment its name, in order for their skin to be orange. Number 9. Baby elephants suck their trunks for comfort. Pictures of baby elephants always create a buzz online, but images of them appearing to suck their trunks always captivate people. The latter raises the question of whether baby elephants are really sucking their trunks, is that really what happens? Turns out the lovely answer was the correct one. In fact, baby elephants suck on trucks just like humans suck their thumbs. And they do it for the same reason, comfort. Just like human babies, baby elephants are born with a strong sucking reflex. This helps them instinctively know what to do around the mother's breast, when a baby elephant isn't suckling, it can suck on its trunk like a human baby sucks on a pacifier. In addition to the comfort it provides, sucking on the trunk helps the baby elephant learn to use and control this long appendage. With over 50,000 individual muscles in the core, you can imagine how complicated it is to get it to do what you want it to at any given time. Sucking on the trunk helps baby elephants learn to control and manipulate the muscles of their trunk so they can fine-tune their usage. Number 8. Starfish do not have a brain and blood. Despite their name, they are not related to fish at all. Perhaps surprisingly, starfish actually belong to the group of marine invertebrates which also includes sea cucumber, sea urchin and sand dollar, starfish don't actually have a brain or even blood. In fact, they use filtered seawater to pump nutrients through their nervous system instead. For years, researchers have wondered exactly how a starfish accomplishes this synchronization, given it has no brain and a completely decentralized nervous system. Despite the absence of a brain, a starfish does have a nervous system, albeit a simple one. Surrounding its mouth is a nerve ring that's connected to each of its arms via a radial nerve. Neurons stimulate the muscles on each of the sea star's tube feet, which are located on the underside of its body. Number 7. Crocodiles cannot stick their tongue out. To many people, the alligator and the crocodiles look very similar. They are two separate species with many notable differences. Although both have tongues, only alligator can bring out their tongues, the crocodile's tongue does not move. Crocodiles have a membrane that holds the tongue in place on the roof of the mouth so it doesn't move. This prevents them from sticking it out of their tightly closed mouth. Since crocodiles spend a lot of time in the water, the tongue helps keep the throat closed, thus protecting the animal's respiratory tract. Unlike other species, the tongue does not play a feeding role, crocodiles are true carnivores, not eating plants. In their native Africa, they hunt and eat many large mammals, capturing them when they stop drinking or crossing rivers. Crocodiles do this in smaller predators with a quick snap of their fingers with their powerful jaws. Larger prey may succumb to a series of deep and crushing bites. Number 6. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards. If you are wondering if there are any birds that fly backwards, the answer is yes. 
However, only one bird can fly backwards, and that's the hummingbird, only hummingbirds can fly backwards for a significant amount of time. In fact, hummingbirds are also capable of flying upside down. It all depends on the structure of their wings. They have a ball and socket joint, called a rotator cuff, that allows for a greater range of motion, making it possible for their wings to move in all directions. In addition to allowing them to move their wings in a figure 8 motion, this means they can hover in the same position, this is what allows them to fly backwards. The unique shape of their wings differs from the muscles and wing construction of most birds, which can only move in a way that propels them forward, flying backwards is a necessity for hummingbirds. In addition to eating berries and insects such as ants, aphids and beetles, hummingbirds also depend on nectar for food. This gives them the energy they need to keep up with their high metabolism and serves as their primary source of water to keep them hydrated. If you've ever seen a hummingbird fly, you know they're a good acrobat. Number 4. Slugs have thousands of teeth. Slugs play an important role in the ecosystem and are the primary composter that helps break down decaying vegetation. However, they are known to be able to chew on garden plants and vegetables for very short periods of time. They do it with their teeth, slugs have an average of about 27,000 teeth. They need a lot of teeth because instead of chewing their food, they have a ribbon-like, microscopic band of flexible teeth called the radula. This works like a circular saw, cutting through the vegetation and eating it as it moves. As their teeth wear down, new rows of teeth grow up and replace them. Most species of slugs are generalists, feeding on a broad spectrum of organic materials, including leaves from living plants, lichens, mushrooms, and even carrion. Some slugs are predators and eat other slugs and snails, or earthworms. Slugs can feed on a wide variety of vegetables and herbs. Number 3. A shrimp vital organ is inside its head. The shrimp's heart, along with other vital organs such as the stomach and ventral nerves, is inside the head because this part of the body is safe from the tail, the head and chest are the thickest and toughest parts of the body. This part, called the cephalic portion, is covered by a thick protective substance, called the exoskeleton. This exoskeleton protects the shrimp's internal organs from damage, as any internal organ damage can be fatal. Shrimps have evolved this way over time to help ensure their survival. That's not the only interesting thing about shrimp hearts. They have three pairs of entrances to the heart, where blood enters and exits, circulating throughout the body. It just shows how much work it takes to move those little shrimps. Number 2. A rhino horn is made of hair. Rhino horn is made up of keratin, the same protein that makes up our hair and nails. The Javan rhinoceros and the larger one-horned rhinoceros have only one horn, while all other rhinoceroses have two horns, rhino horn is not a horn in the traditional sense like cow horn or hooves, although it does share some physical properties. Rhino horn is actually a tuft of hair that grows, squeezes, and sticks together thanks to secretions from the sebaceous glands, on the animal's nose, rhinos are known for their thick skin, which forms sheet-like folds, especially on the shoulders and thighs. All rhinos are gray or brown, including white rhinos, which tend to be lighter in color than others. Aside from the Sumatran rhinoceros, they were almost or completely hairless except for the tips of their tails and ear flaps, but some fossil species were covered with dense fur. The feet of modern species have three short toes, ending in broad, blunt claws. Number 1. An ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. You may have heard the obscene bird brain used to describe someone who may not be making good choices in life at some point. But do all birds have small brains, even the largest of the birds, the ostrich? Well, turns out the ostrich's eyes are bigger than its brain. The ostrich's eyes are not only larger than its brain, but also have the largest eyes of any bird. Their eyes are about 2 inches in diameter, about the size of a billiard ball. This makes them 5 times larger than the human eye. The brain of the ostrich is slightly underdeveloped compared to the brain of ducks, geese, and storks. According to research, the ostrich brain is about 1.5 inches wide. They are also about 17 times lighter on average than the brains of the other three species, compared to their body weight, the ostrich's brain is lighter than the brain-to-body weight ratio of other birds, although the ostrich's brain may be a bit small, its eyes are significantly larger than those of other creatures, suggesting that they are unusually large.